it's Christmas time, which has nothing to do with what people are doing at any time um, on the industrial scale, say, um, what thinks it's more real than the sun in the sky and how to live on the earth. But, well, you know, could be all relative. We see some things on the earth that we can't explain that is man-made. And so, but uh, whether it's man-made or woman-made or not doesn't matter. We don't know where that civilization went. That what it is is uh, whatever the knowledge was held there. See, it's memory. It's really the the way that the mind was used there, right? Um, what we have is abuse of mind which some of that would be to um, let it use you to just go into meta. You know, that's really what um, the mind is. If you really want to know the original encapsulation of the false light, which is the mind, it's called narcissism and narcissists. And now, getting back to a story, say, right now we have this story of, um, if you look at all of it, you know, it's so um, interesting to, to, to keep, to, to start running the, 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 um, the story, the narrative together, you know. But um, as far as Jesus only able to be a story at this point, um, as far as that, um, uh, depicted person or angel or somebody. But, you know, I I know her as a, an infinite space that you cannot identify um, a, a physical form. You know, so and it, it but it, it can assume any form. That's what we have here. I mean, it would be kind of boring if if it just remained invisible and then we had just nothing but invisible. You know, there is an invisible. That's what we're saying. And 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 until uh, the um, the celebration comes up, I guess physically, you know, really um, all of this is up in the air, what I'm saying. I mean, we don't know where any of this is happening, you know. Um, we have these amazing heads atop of our necks that, like I said, um, it's a lot more than visuals. And the way that you can say, well, I, I'm not really controlled by my hell box up here. Um, at the very, very least, and really it's the most we can do, is graduate awareness away from there. And be just as awareness. That's what being is, which is just this moment now. Um, see, um, then you know the way that we do things would be be efficient, and um, it's definitely um, reflecting on how we treat the environment really is just how we look at ourselves in the whole, in the big picture, you know, and the narcissist doesn't self-reflect at all. Um, what that is, is the mind fully encapsulated. So it's just like Meta. So if you can imagine like Meta literal goggles being put on, that is like the synthesized version See, it's a trip because it's like, in case you didn't become a narcissist, here is like this weapon, like a slam to get into meta. Now, um, I know that there is 
a use for the technology of holographic readout. And I'm excited to see what happens in not, not necessarily seven years, you know, but we will know what they've been looking at as far as complete transparency. We will know. They will have a very crude way of hooking up the mind directly to something that, um, let's skip that era, you know what I mean? We just want to get back to our intellectual belongings as as the wonder of what we are as um, DNA structure, like say as the biological glitches that are happening on this plane. The, the playing with um, technologies and stuff is, is overboard coming from, you know, uh, uh, an alien. Aliens that say, oh, um, what is here in this universe? We want to hijack it. We want to do so many things. Maybe, you know, maybe. Is it a hijacking or is it just like coaxing along and, and we're becoming more technologically advanced so we can't go back into outer space? And um, there's other ways to travel through outer space and to know your intellectual belongings property um, through um, meditation. And, and what was Christ Jesus even talking about <laughs> um, as far as if, if there was some hidden, more and more, it's hidden material, like what, what, what was the whole controversy? God! You know, why, why would you just, all of a sudden, let's have, let's say, you know, that she just mocks the system and says, go ahead, um, my example of living is ideal. I sacrifice my body so that something may question what lives on is their curiosity, their ability to be curious about everything really question their own biological experience and something deeper within that questioning you can't stop it and then to find out in ways through your own experiences beyond what meta is offering and all this other stuff so you go out into virgin nature hopefully you find a pyramid or something that's like what is this you know why is this um, something that's here standing as solid as a rock and, and the rest, see, um, of what we hang on to, what seems like life here, a structure, our homes, is just splinters and it could be burned down and turned into ash and you wouldn't know if any of this was here. And who knows what other lands there are. People don't even think how that they don't know. Mostly they don't know. And they are being quarantined off and held captive and you can go in this maze and that maze and there's only so much in your gas tank to do this and there's only so much in the airplane's gas tank to do that and right and how many people and why do the photos the more and more we get to the important things to show like what what's going on in outer space and stuff like that the the the, the least quality of cameras i don't know i'm just talking babes happy merry christmas um, you know, think about that, though. Um, a lot of people are staying safe by not thinking on their own and not even, see, uh, by not imagining. See, I should change my title to imagine with me instead of think with me because thinking is actually the enemy of imagination.